Uh, Marco, be ready to go when your name is called. Okay, so I had I didn't want to. I wanted I to have a good slate, like I introduction. So. I know. Yeah, and you, I, I didn't say anything at the time because yeah. you filmed it for yourself and you did all the things that you wanted to do for your film. Yeah. But when we get into doing monologues for audition pieces and when you're going to be mostly doing monologues moving forward, all of that other stuff goes away. Yeah, the, I, I think it kind of took me out of it with the tape and everything. Did it? Probably, yeah. maybe. Yeah, maybe. I, I mean, know. but it's, you don't need it. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? I, and yeah. then, then the other thing that you start running is that it takes us out of it, too. Because when tape starts falling off, or you can move your arms all the way up to where the tape yeah. is, we're going, why are you taped? Yeah. You know what I mean? Our imagination is so much more powerful. So let us and yourself use it, you know? So. Um, I just wanted to make it special for the final. Right, which is why I let you do it. Yeah. So, but I, I don't want you to miss the point. You know, I don't want you to yeah. go. It's, it's not something practical that I can use exactly. in the future. But exactly. Yeah. Um, Just kind of adds to the theater aspect of it. Yes. Like makes yeah, it, you gave us a yeah. performance, which yeah. is what I asked for, which was great. And you did a nice job of setting the scene, especially in the beginning where you, uh, you clearly, you had been in the situation for a while, didn't know if you were knocked out and coming to, how you uh, set it up before you started the actual monologue. Well, I didn't really intend that. To, I know it would have came across that way. I didn't really intend that to be part of the scene. I was like sort of getting into the moment, you know? And okay. for me, it started when I started talking. But I just like, I couldn't, I couldn't just jump into it like that, you know, because gotcha. it's a very heavy scene. Gotcha. And last time when I jumped into it, um, when we were rehearsing it, for the whole hour of class, I just, there was just a weight on me, uh -huh. you know? So when I just like jump into that, I kind of, I want to be able to come into it smoothly because if I just go at it, it's like too much emotion for, for gotcha. me to even bear. Gotcha. Okay, so then that's the challenge of figuring out how we can do that because there's nothing wrong with, because uh, I want to see that process of getting into the character. Yeah. However, because that, pro that was part of the process and not part of the performance, I didn't know why you started when you did. Because what we're, we're seeing the entire thing and not knowing what's what. So what, to me, it looked as if you were waking up from being knocked out or something. Yeah, which I tried, I tried to, you know, since I know I'm up here, right. and it really starts once I do the slate. Once, I, once I'm here, I know once I'm there, all eyes are on me, it starts. So I kind of purposely played it off like that. Uh -huh. But I'm really, but just and my process is really... Too getting into the character. I'm right. using that moment yeah. to get into so the character. So be aware of the story you're telling, because we see all that. So if that's the way that you end up going, which is great, um, have a reason to start. If you do wake up and then you see him and have a reaction to seeing him or something, give, a, give us, help us. Well, I imagine that I'm in a conversation with him and he's telling me something like, um, but it's what I know what's going see. on, you know, Margo, I'm not stupid. Yeah. we see, right? It's only about what we see. That's all we know. So you've got to help us as the audience. Does that make sense? Yeah, but like okay. just how you taught us like the questions yes. to know what he said beforehand. Yes. So there's like a lot of stuff that you don't see right. that is that's very much you. a part of it. That's for yeah. you to help tell the story for us to make it more clear. Okay. It's always about making the story more clear for the audience. Okay? Um, uh, nice with the emotion. Uh, it was very different this time around, right? Which was which was great. I love that you're trying stuff and you're getting into. And I and I thought that you got um, you got there a little bit early on those four lines that lead into that emotional. Uh, well, yeah, I was kind of trying, like you said last time, to just try to let it come naturally. Yeah. So I wasn't really planning how right, to use right. that emotion. Mm -hmm. I was just latching onto what the words, thinking them as if I'm trying to explain myself, like I'm in the moment, yeah. and then just letting however it conveys, to just let it convey that way. Right, and so, um, so my note was that uh, because you got there earlier than I think you anticipated getting there, it lost the momentum, and, it was, and, that, and so it ended up being very different than what you normally do, which is fine, um, but know that that's kind of what happened, you know? Uh, and just as a practical thing, put him in front of you. There's no reason for him to be over here. He can be right here in front of you. You know what I mean? Uh, especially since you have a tendency to squint your eyes, and we lose your eyes already. 
So uh, we want to see you as much as possible. Yeah.